How's it going everyone? I want to welcome you to another episode of Dude I Love or Hate My New Ride Home Edition. Some people say that America doesn't make great cars and in this video we are going to prove that wrong by taking a look at three American classics starting out with Greg and his 1955 Dodge. Let's give it a look. Hey TFL truck. This is my 1955 Dodge C3C three quarter ton. Other cool cars. Anyways, um, so this truck was what they call a deluxe cab. So it has the wraparound window in the back. It has armrests on both sides, dual sun visors. Those were all options. Um, it's pretty straight though. We actually found it in the Victorville desert area. Real cheap, didn't have a motor. We had a motor from a 1954 Dodge truck that had been rebuilt. Uh, seat was actually in pretty good shape when we got it. It threw seat belts in it. Um, it's pretty much, it was all here. One really cool thing about this particular truck, um, 1955 was the first year that Dodge put an automatic transmission uh, in a pickup truck. So this actually came from the factory with a two-speed power flight automatic, as you can see by those two things there. Uh, we had that rebuilt by a local place. They did a great job, shifts like brand new. Um, let's see. Has a 241 Poly V8. So I had to rebuild the top end of it. Someone had gone through the motor, like I said previously, um, but they put the wrong gaskets in the top and I ended up with a bent um, push rod and the valves were a little leaky. So had a shop, once again, locally go through it, painted that while it was out. The rest of it's still kind of ratty. Had to get a new thermostat housing there. So I was just in a rush. I wanted to get this thing on the road. New radiator. Um, yeah, so it's fantastic. V8 made it to a two-speed automatic. It's not a rocket ship, but it does pretty good for a truck from that era. It's all there, though. 100%. Uh, it has a 410 from the factory, 410 rear end. Um, there used to be marks in our driveway from when I first got the transmission to, to engage. So it has a posi traction rear end. Found out the uh, hard way, but anyways. Um, or as... Chrysler would put it sure grip. So, yeah, this has been a fantastic truck. I actually use it. <laughs> we have horses. I get hay with it. I mean, around town, it only gets like 10 miles to the gallon. I think the best I ever got was 15 on the freeway, which was pretty good, actually, for being a old truck like this. Let me get it started up for you guys. Starts right up. It's got an exhaust leak in the the driver's side, I tried to replace the, the flange gasket, but it just keeps blowing out. Someone has a, like a Nissan truck muffler on there, so it's, it's a lost cause. I just need to get new exhaust. But it runs like a top. Runs nice and smooth. Yeah. So there you go. We're guessing it has like 103,000 miles on it, because it says 3,029, obviously. I mean, you can tell usually by looking even at it like a gas pedal or pedals. It's got more than 3,000 3, miles on it, of course. But, um, but yeah, so it's fun truck. Still needs a headliner. It's Like I said, it's, it's a work in progress. So Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks for sending in your truck. And the first thing that I noticed is that wraparound glass in back just looks so cool. You don't see things like that anymore. And a couple other things that you just don't see anymore is that split folding hood, which is just such a cool old school feature. I'm not sure it necessarily makes it any easier to work on, but it is interesting. And although I usually prefer manuals in older trucks, that PowerFlight logo on your dash alone almost makes me prefer the automatic version of it. Also, those gauges are wicked cool, and the bright red and white on the interior and the exterior with that original patina is just incredible looking, so I have to give this truck an easy 10 out of 10 because it is something special. Next up, we have Dave, a return viewer who has this time sent us video of his 1967 GTO, so let's check it out. Hey, TFL. I'm Dave. And this is my 1967 Pontiac GTO convertible. 
Uh, this particular car has quite a bit of history with me. This was my father's car, actually. Uh, the car is a very nice driving machine, and it actually has on it, I believe, I believe 196,000 miles. It's definitely at least 196,000. Could be 296,000, but I highly doubt it. It's an old car. It's got a four speed in it, 373 gears. So on the highway, this thing kind of screams you're doing over 3,000 RPM at 60 miles an hour. I think it's like 3,200. I just put these year one uh, Rally 2s. They're 17 inch aluminum versions of the factory Rally 2s. I think they look pretty sharp. I think the car could use maybe a two inch drop in the front end. I'm doing a disc brake conversion on the car actually right now. I have all the parts sitting in my shop here. But overall it's in uh, it's in pretty good shape. Needs some cleaning, some paint work. Interior's okay. We've got a, a tear in the driver's seat. It's all pretty original. It's an original four-speed car. Now, I'll go ahead and pop the hood for you guys. It has a uh, factory hood-mounted tack, which if those are, they're super cool. So, the Pontiac guys are probably going to hate me, but it doesn't have a Pontiac engine. I've got a big black Chevy in here. Now this, it says 427. That's what the car used to have in it. Uh, I built, the engine that's in it is a 454. I put this engine together about eight years ago now. And it's pretty mild, probably 350 to 400 horse. It's enough to fry the tires into third gear, tons of torque. But it drinks fuel, but it makes a great noise, and it's a lot of fun. It's been incredible. I haven't even turned a screw on the carburetor in eight years. I've had to do nothing to it. It just runs and runs and runs. It's, it's been really good. But I think it might be time to start modernizing this car. It is starting to leak oil, and I could just freshen up the engine. But I'm telling you, the amount I drive this car, I want more drivability. So uh, having a four speed in the car, uh, it's just, I'm not having enough gearing. And it is, it's a Muncie Rock Crusher uh, four speed. It's just a great transmission. It's really fun to throw through the gears, but you know, this thing, it, it kind of puts you to sleep when you're driving the exhaust will kind of drone and on and on and on. So I want better fuel economy, better, I guess, reliability, and less RPM on the highway. So I kind of want to, the old school guys are going to hate me, but I kind of, I've got an LS1 out of an O2 Trans Am and looking to put a T56 six-speed behind it and do that. Let's hit the key. I've driven it just like this for years, thousands and thousands of miles. I put, in the span of one year, I have put 40,000 miles on this car. So I guess I wouldn't doubt it to be over uh, 200,000 miles, but it's pretty neat. I'll give it a little rev here. Something about having the top drop cruising. Surprisingly, I mean, it doesn't handle great, but this has front and rear sway bars, heavy duty suspension, so it handles okay. Uh, GMA body cars are, as far as 60s muscle cars go, they're really well sorted cars. And that might be me just being biased, but I get to experience a lot of these old cars, and they're kind of. They're my go-tos. Thank you very much, TFL. You guys have a good one. Take care, thanks. Well, thanks for sending in your GTO. The first thing that I noticed about it were those meaty tires in the back, which every muscle car needs to have. And I'm glad to hear that you've put a lot of miles on it 
because if you have a 454 and a four speed, why wouldn't you put a lot of miles on it? I bet it's a blast to drive, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because I think it's a really cool car. Thanks again. Lastly, we have Steve with his 1979 Ford F-250 and it looks to be a pretty mint truck, so let's give it a look. Hey KFL, this is Steve from Michigan. This is my 1979 F-250 Camper Special. I purchased this truck in 2002 uh, from Washington State. I flew out there and drove it back after doing some maintenance work on it. And uh, so it's been a little bit of a project truck for me. Something of this age um, always needs you know, lots of attention just from years of wear and tear and stuff. So um, gone through the brakes, the suspension, put new wheels and tires on it. Um, it's a Lariat package. So it's got the original two-tone cloth and vinyl seat, uh, putting the carpets in it, weather stripping, stuff like that. Got an aftermarket radio, but it's original dash in it. Um, it's got a bed liner in it. The truck is mostly original paint, so it's, I call it a survivor because it's got, you know, dings and scratches and stuff in it from 40 years of use. Originally had a big block 460 carbureted with a three-speed C6 automatic and um, drove it that way for a few years. The engine was tired, the transmission was tired, so I decided to uh, do an upgrade. So we bought a wrecked 1997 F250, the old square body style, and the truck was totaled so we took all the parts out of it and retrofitted onto this one. So. Um, made a little custom license plate for it there. So it is now a 460 fuel injected engine with the E4OD 4 speed automatic transmission. So we took everything off that donor truck and put it into this one. So the engine transmission, computer, wiring, fuel system, exhaust system. The engine had about 300,000 miles on it. so. I ran it for a few years and then I pulled it out and rebuilt it. Added some more compression to it and kind of an RV camshaft, so it runs strong now. It's got all the emission control equipment on it and stuff, so this was a California emissions engine. That's it. Old toy truck I've got. Had a lot of fun with it. Had it almost uh, what, 18 years now. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Well, thanks for sending in your truck. I love it in that classic Ford blue. It makes me nostalgic. Also, the wheels on it are just perfect. And I'm really glad to hear that it still has a 460 in it because those are beastly motors that make a great sound. All of that combined, I have to give this truck a 10 out of 10 because there's just really not a whole lot to fault it for. So thanks again for sending it in. And if any of you out there have cool, quirky American cars, bikes, trucks, anything like that that you wanna to send to us, please do. And here's Tommy to show you exactly how you can do that. Hey. Thank you for sending us your video here to TFL Studio so we can make it famous on Dude I Love My Ride Home Edition. Well, we noticed that a lot of people had some issues sending us files because emails are just not suitable for video. However, we do have a much better solution. It's a file service called WeTransfer, and WeTransfer is a way you can securely and safely and freely, we should say, send us your video files. That way the quality is better and there's no issues going down the road. So here's how you do it. If you're planning on using your cell phone to upload the files, like I think many of you will be, all you have to do is open up your browser, and this works both on Apple and Android, and type in tflstudios.wetransfer.com, and then hit enter. Now it will take you to this page, and you'll see a big button that says send a file. Click that, and then tap I agree, and it'll give you a plus arrow where you can actually add your files add up to 20 gigabytes. So click that. I'm going to say photo library, videos, 
and then I'm going to select my video and hit done. So there you can see your video is added. In the message section, please add your name and your truck. So in this case, it'll be Tommy Micah and the truck or car or whatever lawnmower is 2020 Nissan Titan, just so we know what's coming our way. And then click next. And then you plug in your own personal email. And what it'll do is send you a verification just to make sure you're a real person and not a robot and click transfer. So it says verify your email. Go ahead and check your email and you'll see a code. And then go ahead and plug in your verification code. All right, and verify. So once you're verified, you'll see it will upload your file to the internet and you can see it going there. And then, and then it will send a verification that you have completed your transfer and that we have received it. Now you can actually do the same exact process on a computer, it's just as easy. Let me show you. Here on the computer, it's the same exact process. So simply type in tflstudios.wetransfer.com and hit enter. And then here you'll see a little bubble that says add your files. So click on the file you want to add. Then plug in your email address, your personal email address, and a message. Once again, your name and your vehicle. So it'll ask you to verify your email again, and then you'll be ready to go. Uh, and we'll get your files a little bit quicker. It'll be a little bit easier. Well, thank you so much for contributing. And if you have any questions, email me, ask at tfltruck.com, and we'll help you through them. All three of these old school American rides are awesome because they were built to last forever and they look cool even today, decades after they were manufactured, which you can't say for every car. But anyways, that's all for this video. As always, this is Intern Case with the Fastlane Car. Be sure to go back to TFL Car, TFL Truck, and TFL Off-Road for more news, views, and real-world reviews. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay safe.